A Raleigh sneaker store owner could not believe what he was seeing on his ring camera in the middle of the night. Yeah, he was watching as a group broke into his business, stole tens of thousands of dollars worth of clothes mm. and sneakers. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant and talked to him about what happened. I'm standing inside of one of one boutique here in downtown Raleigh, and not only did they steal sneakers and clothes, but they damaged a lot of stuff. All of it caught on surveillance video. Within minutes, a group of people with their faces covered kicked in the door at one of one boutique in Raleigh in the wee hours Monday morning, rummaging through the store. Terry Mangum owns the store. What was going through your head the entire when you're watching it on your ring camera? I mean, I'm, I'm watching it. I'm just like, this is this is crazy. Like they're in there, so it's, it's three in the morning. I was literally was in bed about to fall asleep. The 22-year-old and his partners rushed over to the store, meeting police officers at the so, shop. Yeah, they took a lot of local clothing brands, but like they took a lot of clothes, but really a, a lot of shoes. They took a lot of shoes, Yeezys, Jordans. You know. According to police, the thieves left with about thirty thousand dollars in clothes and shoes. Terry says more than 50 sneakers. A lot of pairs, they ended up with just one shoe, which I'm happy about, so, you know, they can't profit off of it. And police say left behind $500 in damage when they busted the door to get in. They, they, they yeah. just take oh, stuff. Yeah. They, they yeah. damaged some stuff. They, they damaged stuff, smashed the uh, display case. They took the cash register and the POS system. Terry says this is the second break-in within months. The first one in October, he says wasn't even close to this. Um, we don't know what insurance is going to do. It could drop us. So, and that's really why I'm leaning on the community to help us out. While the store remains closed, he says a friend gave him an idea for the dozens of perilous sneakers. You know, my boy Sir Kelsey's, he had something similar happen. He said he donated them to Fort Bragg soldiers. So I might do that to people with just one leg. And I did reach out to Raleigh police. So far, they have not identified any suspects right now. One of one is raising money online to help recoup the stuff that was lost. In Raleigh, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News. That